on the end down here. Well, we are needing two by fours too, so. Well, I mean, we're gonna need some shorter six, six by sixes too, so this is not gonna go to waste. Uh -oh. For sure. You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh. Hit, hit my nose. Welcome back. If you're new to this channel, this is Tony Instructor Adventure. But maybe today it's my adventure because we are starting at the greenhouse. But before we can start building, we have to prep this area. So we are planning on flattening this ground a little bit, but with some extra dirt, we're going to be getting from another area and we're going to fill it up and build it up. Let's go at it. Nerves still. She used to wouldn't even touch the tractor. So that beam is probably 100 pounds, 120 pounds. There we go. We've got the all the posts cut off today. We've got the big beam put across the the future door, and then we've got the top plate all the way around. We have to leave this end open. We're not put the, the post, the three more posts to go in this end, but we're gonna use the crane truck to back in and set each one of the trusses. So we're gonna need to have the crane truck inside the, uh, inside the greenhouse. And then after we get towards the end out here, we'll put the last three posts and put the cap over it and hang the last truss. 
So we got the crew here. Good morning. We're getting ready to go over and start building trusses today. And these are all going to be hand built by this fantabulous crew. Wind's blowing. It's going to be awesome. Last time I've done a rafter was 35 years ago. There's our bird. Skip drill ho, skip drill ho, skip drill ho, skip drill ho, and then the next one starts off on that on that. So you'll have two right together. I don't think there's no way. So we're back at it again. It is cold out here. We're all bundled up and let's get this greenhouse going. Let's go. We need some meat and taters. I thought you were Yeah, because this is the inside here. All right, Tanya, waiting on you. Six and a half is the center. So, so 146 and a half. And we're going to have to get the man basket up here and put that one up. There's no way.
I can pull this down a little bit. Uh -oh. I got too much over here on top. What do you feel? I got about an inch and a half straight in. So this is taking a lot longer, but if y'all can see in the background, you know, it's just me has to make sure you match it up right to it. And we're using bugle tape in between the paneling to make the wood, uh, the slot right there in the middle to stick on it. And it also kind of helps with the wind protection coming through here. So this area right here gets you a lot of wind. So. But yeah. Keep on going that way or not. I'm going to have to Take care of it. Yeah. No, I can't do that. We'll have to wait. I don't know how far down that's going to look. Matter of fact, I'll have to. All right, I need that big piece. <coughs> It's gonna go, what do you think? It's gonna be pretty nice here. Got the ends on. So John is up there with Tanya. She, she is removing the last little bit of uh, temporary screws across the top that we put up there. Just keep the wind from blowing that off to get the ridge cap on. And then she's gonna go ahead and keep putting ridge cap. You can see the ridge cap there. So we, there's three more sheets of that go all the way down to the end. This is Tanya putting in the first screws. Straight down, straight down. Okay, check it out. Only 80 more screws to go. Tanya's, Tanya's doing great. Hope you guys can see this. I'm doing my best to record it.
so gizmo dog there he he's watching watching tanya up on top of the roof he not a big fan of her being up there right, push it out uh right, too far back 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 towards you back. Hi. at least now we know who does the real work around more uh go back just a little, a little bit right there So this is the inside of the greenhouse to this point. We've got almost all of the dirt around the outside. And then we have the doors left to do. But what we did here is we made this a threshold. So at the entrance of each side here, in these corners, we sprayed a, a, a really heavy coat of a, um, basically a rubber spray to keep the concrete away from the post. And again, on this side. And then we just put a, built a form and made our door opening now the outside is a little bit lower than the inside so that the water will drain out and then we're going to build a set of doors so tanya is going to be the first person to walk through the doors of her greenhouse da, da, da. how about that <laughs> not, they're not perfect they're not perfect but they're going to be cool almost done almost done all right, so. All right, here we go. We've got most of this door up. We still obviously got to put the panels in. You got to drill the holes for the locks at the top and the bottom. And then we got to put the side pieces running down. Getting close. All right, so she's putting this butyl tape across the top. We're going to implant the uh, implant, I guess. <laughs> put in the uh, put in the polycarbonate panel for the door. And yeah, should be pretty good. Measuring like a clamp, piece of wood to clamp the panels in. We got butyl tape behind the panels. Coming together! Yay! It's looking good. I love it. Or miss. She's almost like, I want a high five. I thought this day would never come. I can't believe we're standing in the greenhouse. It is such an awesome feeling. 
knowing that those logs of uh, the, the post actually came from our property and with the live edges and all the little nooks and grannies this is a greenhouse you call it a labor of love so thank you tony and mr john and gizmo for supervising that helping us to build this greenhouse i just love it i just i'm just so overwhelmed with it because i would never thought i have a greenhouse like this it's about it's 50 about degrees outside how <laughs> i would say it's about 85 in here it it's, is very comfortable in here it's very and, humid in here it's like a sauna yeah but it's yesterday was actually worse in here because it was really hot you had a little sweat coming down your face well the sun's went down we're not yeah but it's mid, still, midday it's going to be really hot but this in here. feels great right now so i can't wait to get at it get the inside done and get to planting and do stuff yay